Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how you can use Flipper to debug React Native app with Redux state management. Flipper debugger comes with useful set of tools out of the box like Log Viewer, Network Inspector or Layout Inspector. But if you want to inspect Redux Store, you will need additional plugin and I will show you how to configure it. Okay, so here's example React Native Redux app. We have three actions, increase counter, decrease counter, and we can also change background color. And here's Flipper debugger. Here are some logs so you can see it works. And it's worth to mention that uh, default Flipper support was added in React Native 0.62. So now let's add plugin, manage plugins, install plugins. And as you can see, there are a few Redux plugins available. I like Redux Flipper the most because it allows you to inspect Redux actions and store, and you can also dispatch actions from the plugin inter interface. So it's very convenient. I need to restart Flipper. And that's pretty much what we need on the flipper side. So now let's move to our code. Here is very basic store configuration with one reducer with three actions. And I would like to mention here that before flipper debugger was introduced, most popular way of debugging Redux apps was React Native debugger. And I will show you two variants of configuring Flipper plugin. So the first will be just Redux Flipper plugin without React Native Debugger and version that will work with both debuggers at the same time. So you can still use the old way if you like. So first of all, we need to add two dependencies to our project React Native Flipper and our plugin Redux Flipper. Let's install them. It will take a while. And here it is. And now we need to add Redux Flipper to our middlewares. Remember that Flipper is available only in development mode. So here's create Flipper debugger. Let's require our plugin. And all we need to do is to Edit as one of middlewares. And that's pretty much what we need to make it work. React Native Flipper plugin needs to be linked, so let's pod install. And we will need to restart our app. It will, it will also take a moment. And here it is. And now you can see in the left panel of Flipper, there's additional Redux debugger tab. And now when I dispatch any action, you can see the list in flipper panel. So we can select one of the actions. Here's the diff between states and we can see the whole state tree. And the last thing, as I mentioned, we can actually dispatch actions and the plugin works as expected. But I mentioned that you can use both debuggers at the same time. So let's check if it will work. So here's the part of the code I need to make React Native debugger work. We need to take our middleware and wrap it, wrap it in Compose Enhancers. And now it I will clear Flipper and now, as you can see, actions ap appear in both 
debuggers as expected. So you can switch between debuggers if you like. Flipper is a very convenient and powerful tool for debugging React Native apps, so I really suggest you to try it. As you could see, extending, extending its functionalities is pretty easy with plugin support. As usual, you can find example code in GitHub repo linked in video description. And if you have any question or you would like to see more videos related to Flipper, please let me know or leave a comment. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel so you will not miss any new tutorials. See you!